man, this guy's so mad. Look at him. He's so mad. Good morning guys, Chad here. I'm here with Stormy, as you can see. What are you doing, Stormy? You wanna get at the Hulk? Huh, you wanna get at the Hulk? I gotta talk to YouTube for a minute, okay? How's it going, guys? As you can see, Stormy's getting pretty big. Look at the size of her. I got this, I got this collar on her so that I can tie her up if I need to. But for now, she's just gonna stay in my shop today. Gonna get a couple things done on the farm this morning. Gotta go check for those duck eggs and the chicken eggs. And then uh, I gotta blow some snow. I gotta shovel some snow. Oh, it's gonna be a fun day. This cat is something else. She wants my Hulk. Thanks for tuning in to this episode. Chronicles of Farmstay Startup here at the Hidden Spring Farm. Molly's here with me. She's outside. Um, I got my heater on in the workshop here. So hopefully a little bit later, I can continue working on my barn cat barn. My barn cat barn is a cool little project I've been working on for the kitty when they move into the barn. This is the barn cat barn. And I'm gonna probably put the roof on today on the top. This is gonna be Stormy's home when she transitions to the barn, so you know it'll help keep her warm since she's started off her life being sick and all. But she's fully recovered now, I know. But I don't want to make her life difficult. She's a cutie kitten, so this is gonna help keep her warm in the barn. And then when we get another cat, there's room in here for two or three cats. So uh, stay tuned for that. For those of you who are just joining us, and this is your first ever episode, hi, my name's Chad, and my wife and I bought this property, it's 90 acres, and we're transforming it into an amazing and beautiful farm stay and experience. And uh, we got the house renovated, we got it listed for rental all throughout since last August, and it was doing really well. We had gardens put in, all sorts of stuff here. We got chickens, we got ducks. I got uh, farm dog Molly. We have a new barn kitten. We rescued her and she's doing really well after being sick for a bit. I built a custom ultimate duck house. You can check out that video. I'll try to put a little link for it up here. It's incredible. I'm so proud of that duck house. And my ducks are living life in there. They started giving me eggs. My chickens started giving me eggs. I'm just loving life on the farm. Got huge plans on the farm. We're gonna have another big year this year. Don't forget to hit that subscribe, people. Please hit that subscribe. Please like my videos because, you know, that little YouTube algorithm, you know, it does some fancy business behind the scenes and pumps up your stuff. So we need all the help we can get to grow our channel. Feel free to comment. I love talking with you guys through the comments. Really appreciate you guys watching. So, that being said, enjoy the episode. I gotta go get my duck eggs before they get frozen, because it's a chilly one here in Ontario. And uh, enjoy the episode. Okay guys, let's get in this duck house and see how many eggs we got today. Of course, Molly's coming with me as she usually does because she's always attached to my hip. Okay, I see an egg right away, right here. Look guys, look. 
Okay, it's a big one. It is a big one, guys. Check it out. That's one egg. Whoa, there's one right there, too. Look, they made a little nest on top there. Oh, God, searching for eggs is so awesome. I feel it's like Easter every day. I'm on an Easter egg hunt. Okay, they made a little nest right there, but I don't see any eggs. 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 Oh, there's two eggs out in the run. There's two eggs out there, guys. Do you see that? Right there. Oh man, those two eggs out in the run are probably gonna be frozen. There's two, one, two. Okay, I gotta get out there, but first, let me search in and around in here, trying to find the eggs. I think it's gonna be a slow egg day for ducks. A slow duck egg day, because I only got two eggs on the inside of the, the ducky bunky. And I saw those two eggs outside in the run here. And one, two, I don't see any more. Oh, three, there's a third one. There's a third egg outside. I hope they're not frozen. Oh, what are they doing laying them outside? Molly, are you coming in? You be good. Oh no. Let's go get these eggs. Move. You're blocking my road. Oh no, it's embedded in there. It's still it's still okay. It's not uh it's not frozen. No, this one's frozen. I see cracks. Oh, look at that, guys. Wait, you see the crack? If it's cracked like that, it's no good for us humans to eat it because there could have been some bacteria entered through the shell. I'll just give it to Maldi later. What about this one? What about this one? Get out of there. Get out of there, doggo. This one's broken. Look at that, guys. Look at it, it's broken. Oh gosh. So, that's the first time in the history of this ducky bunky that my ducks have laid more eggs outside in the run than inside. That's weird. Okay, so we have one, two, three good eggs and two cracked eggs. Okay, let's get in this barn and see if the chickens laid more eggs than our ducks. Oh, I hear them. I hear them, Molly. I hear them. Hello, chick. Oh, what are you doing there? Hello, chickens. Oh, it's getting kind of stinky in here. Hmm. Getting kind of stinky in here. I just gave them fresh bedding too. So, I see there's one egg over there. I see there's one egg underneath the rocking chair and there's two eggs over there. So far I see four eggs. Move it, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, there's three over here. <laughs> Guys, there's three over here. I thought there was only one. There's three here. Woo! Hey, get out of here. <laughs> okay, guys, we got 
Remember, we had three duck eggs. This time we have four brown chicken eggs. There's two more brown chicken eggs here. And there's this one cute, tiny, tiny little white chicken egg. This is from the Black Leghorn Hen. All of these brown ones are from the Rhode Island Reds and the Light Sussex. <laughs> Woo, oh yeah. Molly, you want to go out? Okay, let's go. Hey, chicken. How are you, girl? This is a light Sussex. Whoa, she's gonna, she's gonna jump. She's gonna jump. No, she's not. No, she's not. She's okay. But if I touch her, she'll jump. It's okay, girl. It's okay. What are you peeking at down there? Huh? You wanna come up here? So, looks like I need to get them just a little bit of feed. I'm giving them the, the layer feed so that they can continue laying me some yummy, yummy eggs and I'll uh, get them some scratch and a little bit of water. Oh. Whoa, these guys are nuts. Okay, let's get the feed. Got some whole corn for them. Yeah, I don't want to end up with barnyard mixes. Oh, take it easy, brother. Put some over there, put some over there, some over here, and some over here. That way, they're not all in the same spot fighting for the same corn. Otherwise, I might have some, some squabbling on my hands. That's a little bit of corn. And then this here is the scratch. See, it's just like a, like a five grain scratch. I give this to the ducks too. Oh, look at them all, they're going nuts for the corn. Okay, I'll put some of that over here. Put the rest over here. Chickens love to scratch and dig and I'm looking forward to free ranging them. Probably won't free range them all the time once I build my new coop, but once in a while, I'm gonna free range them and uh, they'll be able to come over to our compost and dig up in the compost and get all the bugs and they'll, they're gonna love it. Look, it's so quiet in here now. Look. <laughs> These chickens are like me. When there's food in front of them, they don't speak. They just stay quiet and concentrate on the food. That's like me. If there's food in front of me, I don't even speak. I just keep eating. <laughs> Bit of an update on our rat issue, guys. We got this big pile of dirt right here and that little pile of dirt right here. Um, we did, I think I caught three or four of uh, the red squirrels inside the rat traps, but I never did catch that rat. The rats are too smart, I guess. They know not to go in the trap. So, I kind of feel like maybe the rat left because they're not digging any more holes. I haven't seen holes here for at least a week or maybe it died, who knows. But uh, the sooner we can get Stormy in here, the better because Stormy is really doing well with her training. She's really doing well. She's so quick and you can see the way she's, she's sneaking up on her prey and then she'll sit there. This is when I'm this is when I'm playing with her with a little fake mouse. And then all of a sudden she'll pounce. You know, she's like a little black panther. Molly! Come here!
Stormy! Stormy! Stormy here has had enough of the snow. Molly keeps thumping her down. Where is she? See there, guys? I'm really not trying to be cruel to the kitty, but she needs to experience a little bit of the snow because by the time we transition her to live in the barn, that's probably going to be spring. There's not going to be snow or not going to be a lot of snow. So it's nice and warm in my shop right now. I'm gonna put her back in there. And uh, while I get some more work done here on the farm, she's gonna stay nice and toasty. But for now, she's uh, just getting a little playtime here out in the snow. Hey, Stormy. Stormy? Yeah. She's okay. She's okay. She's gonna be a good employee for us here at the farm. Hey, Stormy. I'm just coming around to uh, to change out their water and I see that there's another egg down there right there I can see it it's kind of underneath the lip I missed it I don't think it's a fresh lay I think I missed it so I'm gonna get in there there's all the ducks and these ducks just don't like to be next people actually they don't like to be next to anything they really don't like to be next to anything. They, even if Molly's just standing there, Molly doesn't even have to bother them. They just don't like it. Okay, let's check out this egg that's here. Oh no. It's stuck. There you go. It doesn't look like it's frozen. It doesn't look like it's frozen. Still good. It's got a little duck muck on it, but uh, who can complain? Hopefully that'll be a good egg. want to give you a little update on my custom ultimate duck house here it's just starting to snow oh no there's molly the ducks are gonna go wild molly you be nice you be nice you know she's still she's still a little hyper around the ducks the chickens molly's perfectly okay because chickens, they just kind of stand there. They're kind of making some small noises, but ducks, they go nuts. See, once the lead drake does something, they all just follow. They're totally flock animals. But uh, once they start like, and then Molly just like starts to run and jump and she's just playing. I know she's not attacking them or anything, but this is working out really good. This is super strong. It's super durable. My security apron's working. We haven't had any problems with any kind of predator. The only problem is, uh, you know, with like rodents, like mice and whatnot. Because um, I've seen some with my security camera. I've seen some mice. I think they can get under my security apron because the security apron that I installed is two inches by four inches. So a mouse or a chipmunk can get through. But uh, what can you do? This uh, feed shed's working out really good. I still got a...
these small rolls are half inch hardware cloth. The big rolls, the really heavy rolls, those are one inch just wired fencing. They, it's rolled, rolled, wild, wire, rolled wired fencing. And that's what I'm going to use for our massive ultimate vegetable garden. This stuff here is for my custom ultimate chicken coop. Guess what guys? I made a dumb move. Dumb. Really dumb. Look at this. You see this? This is my Honda Pilot. It's a 4x4 and I got it stuck in my own driveway. Well, it's not really stuck in the driveway because I knew that I was going to be snow blowing the driveway today. And so I kind of went up on the side where the snow is really deep, but I guess it was uh, a little bit warm and it really sunk in. Like, look at it. So I've tried rocking it. I've got it in four wheel drive. I've reversed it. I've done everything I could for 25 minutes trying to get this thing unstuck by itself and I can't. I really can't. I'm so stupid. This is so ridiculous. I should have just left it in the driveway because the driveway is already nice and compacted from the many times that I've done the snow. So how the hell am I going to get this out now? I'm going to have to dig it out or maybe pull it out with my tractor? This is stupid. I'm such an idiot. I'm never going to do that again. That is a lesson learned. Look at this kid. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're so lucky. You're so gorgeous. Look, you got snow all over your snout. You gonna come and hang out? Ah, uh, come on. Let's get in here. Let's get in here. You hang out with Stormy, okay? Okay, Molly? You hang out with Stormy, okay? Where's Stormy? Stormy's on top of my desk. Look, Stormy's on top of the desk. Stormy, what are you doing up there? Hey! Hey, don't hit my camera. Look at these two kids. So you see guys, this uh, tractor and snow blower makes easy work of this blowing. It's easy, easy. There's no blizzard or snowstorm or amount of snow that this beast can't handle. You can see it's fairly deep, the snow. It's probably six inches deep. And as this is plowing through, you know, it just chews it up, makes it all loose, and then it shoots out through the propeller in there and then shoots it out. It's so nice. It works so great. 
Okay, let's go and check these traps again for the tenth time, I guess. Ooh, there's a fly just sitting there. Weird, eh? It's the middle of winter and there's a fly sitting here. Ooh, I think we got one, guys. I think we got one. He's, I, he keeps moving around. I can hear it. Oh man, this guy's pissed. Oh man, this guy's so mad. Look at him. He's so mad. I bet you this is uh, the daddy, the man of the house. He's angry. Oh well, that's another one down. Another one down, woo! Okay, I'm gonna take this little guy to the woods. He's pissed. He's so mad he wants out. He's breaking my trap. I'm gonna take this guy to the woods, miles away from here. Woo! <sighs> Me versus squirrels. It's a hard job. Somebody's gotta do it. Man, who knew that squirrels in the attic was such a hassle? What a hassle. I've been fighting with these guys for like five rounds the attic up there eh the attic is just full of squirrel destruction and poop and it's just i don't know i, I i'm gonna get a vacuum up there and kind of vacuum up whatever i can but uh you know i can't really get up there i don't know anybody who would be able to get up there and move around you'd have to be like a little kid i'm gonna reset these traps and hopefully there's no more living in there and if there is, hopefully they go in the trap. Let me get my body up here. Oh, oh, okay. So, it certainly seems like this peanut butter is working. And I mean, it's, it's attracting them to get in there, that's for sure. So, I just need to reset this trap with more peanut butter. Got my peanut butter. Spreading it around on the on the the flapper. Getting it all gummed up over there. Ooh, my fingers are all sticky now. There you go. Trap is set, as you can see. I'm gonna put her over here. Okay guys, I'm in the workshop. Stormy's here with me. You can see Stormy, she's climbed up to the top of the, her new house. And I'm gonna see if I can get these roof panels on the two top portions of this house. got some PL Premium construction adhesive. I'm gonna put a bead on each side and a bead on the front.
Okay guys, I think that's it for today. I got the roof on, my barn cap barn. I got these trims on. It's looking really, really sharp now. Look at that edge. Look at these miters. So the only thing I need to do now is get some nice trim work on the outside of these this frame. I'm gonna paint it. And then I gotta put some hinges on with those metal roofs. And then I'm gonna put some little design features to make it look really rustic and really look like an old rustic barn. Here's Stormy. Oh, look at her. She's climbing up on me right away. I just went to, I wanted to show it to you. And she's climbing up. Look, what a stinker. What a stinker. She's such a sweetheart. She's purring away. Purring away. She's happy that I'm in. You know, she can hang out with me. Hey, Stormy. <laughs> She's crazy. She's crazy. Okay, let me see if she'll jump down. Yeah, look at that jump. You're a ninja kitty. Okay, so that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Remember to hit that subscribe button. Pound that like button. Excited about what I can do. I am excited. This is going to be a big year. Big year. See you on the next episode, guys. Really appreciate you watching. High five. Pound that fist. Take care.